What is up guys, today we're in a video of every style class slash subclass by DD slash Ice. Only Dreams allowed me to call me that, no one else is allowed to call me that. Okay, as you can see, this is a slideshow video, you, you can kind of see that by the mark over here. First of all, the video is uploaded as a version 3.1 AD, so if you're playing on another version, it's probably going to be outdated. So yeah, okay, first of all, all we got pure fighter. If you played this pre-rework, you were probably just like, I like melee classes, I like DPS, sure. If you play it now, you're a meta slave. <laughs> Fighters are typically just like either super good or like super bad. There's literally no in between and you know exactly which type of fighter I am. It's a meta DPS and tank class overall. All right, next of all, we got pure mage. If you played this class before the rework, you used to be a meta slave. I have rarely seen mage players that were like extremely bad. Like there were like a few like out of like maybe like 20 or like 50 bitter bird ruins runs you'll have like a sort of bad mage but typically they're not gonna be too bad but i've only seen a few that are like extremely extremely good like i know songstress i think songstress is a very very good mage anyways next one pure priest slash healer and i swear you are a nice person if you pick this class, because this class, if once you invest into it, you're not soloing anything until you get another set. It's a healer, it doesn't deal damage. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're a healer, you're also either really good or really bad, no in-betweens. It can also dodge, just saying. If, if you're a really good healer, you can heal dodge. Okay, pure warrior. If you main this class, you're definitely a pre rework like, because, oh my god, this thing is like, this class is so outdated now. If you main this class, you desperately want Freaky to buff it. Because, like, Fighter currently has totally replaced Warrior slash Tank. It sometimes makes life easier, but it's definitely not a meta. Pure Shaman. You worship Exec. I swear, you do. You worship Exec. You literally worship Exec. Because Exec, I Exec is a god- it's, he, he, like, ex exec is a god shaman. Y you also think shaman is the most underrated class ever, which you're right. It's, it's not really a meta class right now, but it's pretty underrated in my opinion. TMS. Oh boy. This is, like, probably the only class I would be like, do not play this. You suck if you play this. This is probably going to be the only class that I'm going to say this for. Because Hunter is a trash class and some people don't realize it for some reason and they need to realize it if you main hunter you think you're so much better than others i bet you do but in reality you're you're just a garbage player because hunter is just a dollar store mage mage is just hunter but better hunter's dollar store mage mage is hunter but better seriously just don't pure warlock you have definitely die to self-damage at some point or another because you forget about it and remember there's no hp regen when you're in combat so you've probably died to that before you most likely think that you're better than mage or warlock is underrated and mage is overrated which not really true but you kind of have a point i guess i see a lot of mages but i actually don't see a lot of warlocks you, you, you can dodge, definitely, but you, dodging is kind of risky because self-damage, and it's not as meta as mage. It's a, it's a pretty good DPS class, though, I'll give it that. And Barbarian! Okay, let me ask you one question. Do you actually like Barbarian? Or did you build it out of just pure desperation? Just because you want to get your runs done. This build, you're sacrificing DPS with defense and HP. And if you have a tank weapon, I guess you'll generate a bit more threat as well, but still, come on. Battle Mage. I remember there being a lot of sub-mage battle mages before no tank BK was found. It's pretty sad, Paul's mage has good bursts, so you can just hit the mobs with a mage hit, and then you can just 
Can I just do the re rest of the stuff with tank? Berserker. I don't think there's any reason to do this, honestly. Binder. It might be viable. I mean, if you want a cleaving strike in the middle of the shaman rotation, I think you'll be good. But if you flip it around, I don't think Shum's Ice Bolt will fit in a fighter rotation. <laughs> just because fighter rotation is so quick. You use a weapon, the next one's pretty much already off CD. You probably think Ice Bolt plus Cleaving Strike is good because, I mean, they're very similar skills. But honestly, I think it's just kind of meh. Blackguard, I think it's about the same deal as Battle Mage, but I've never seen a Blackguard before. Cleric. Cleric is the standard sub healer build for Fighter. If you're doing this, you're probably just soloing Winter Hold with Fighter, honestly. Dragon Slayer. Maybe this would be viable. It's pretty much just like actual mage combined with dollar store mage. It might be viable considering that they're similar classes, but I've never seen one main this before. And I'm assuming that a regular human being will tell me, honestly, just just go pure mage, honestly. If you if you have like if you have like decent gear, you have like all the ADVs, etc. etc. Just 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 go mage, honestly. Druid. Why? You are stupid for building this. Hunter and Yeller? Are you kidding me? Hexblade. This is my personal favorite. I use this build a lot. You you probably built this because you don't have fighter ADVs. That's me. I have fighter ADV boots, but those are legacy. You think Reckless Slam and Void Hex is the best combo in the game? I think it's a very good combo. But typically, I use Hexblade for, like, that extra, like, 100 DPS. Like, I use it with Reckless Slam. But honestly, I think that's just, like, a fitting timing thing. If you don't like that timing, I don't care. I think that timing is good. But in the end, you're kind of just going for that, like, I know, extra, like, 100 DPS. Pure Fighters are probably going to think, ew, trash. Why Hexblade? But... Hey, look, you still got DPS. Trust me, this this build's DPS isn't bad. You're a fighter if you don't have the ADVs. You already have, like, about, like, 200 and... 250, 270-ish DPS. Loading around, like, 250 to 300. And if you have, like, Hexblade stuff, then you're essentially adding 100 more DPS around. You just need to watch out for energy. Inquisitor. It's another typical sub-heal build. And honestly, I think... I forgot to mention this in the slides, but I think this could go 4-2 either way. You can sub Warlock, or you can sub... Because, like, Void Hex? Void Hex has a DOT, and it's very continuous. Like, you can just use it whenever you do it, and, like, you just have that extra DPS just sitting right there. And for sub heals, well, that solves Warlock's self-damage problems. Which is also why you probably don't give crap about self-damage, for obvious reasons. Due to this, you probably also think that Inquisitor is better than pure walk in every way. But actually, that only applies to dodging, where the healer would preferably just constantly heal the tank rather than heal the walk that's dealing 10 trillion damage to themselves. Okay, Monk and Mystic. Those will just get through. They're pretty decent sub heal builds. Let's just get this over with. Necromancer. Actually, I think we have a new meta here. Like, I like, I like started making this video and that I looked through all of the subclasses and that I saw Necromancer, and I'm like, bro, that might actually be good, man. If I were to build another third class, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna try Shaman, because I already have some Shaman, and see what Necro is like. You know, maybe it's a very good meta. Aladdin, okay, this is like the only sensible way you can build your tank. If you build your tank like this, you're a man of culture. If you build your tank any other way, you suck. You're probably just carrying bitter ruins runs just because you don't need a good heal when you got a good platinum, man. Ranger! No! Rogue! Y you ruin- y You are just ruining fighter. I, I have never seen someone main this, which makes sense. Because fighter already someone has an energy crisis and hunter's just gonna make that worse. Not just cast time isn't gonna help its DPS or anything by a lot. If you play this, if you even 
thought of playing this, like, if you even thought, hmm, maybe this is good. You are a disgraceful human being. Scout. Yeah, there's no reason to build this either. Shadowcaster. I swear, it's probably better for you to just hit, like, a repeater for, like, corruption or something. There's no reason you would ever, like, <laughs> ever need to add a hunter rotation. Come on. Also, just use some mage, if anything. Saucer. Like, I, I, I think this could go for two build. Either way. Both of those are great DPS range classes. Mage has bursts. Warlock has continuous DPS. We might have something here. War Mage. You are a legacy player. War Mage was like the legacy DPS meta. If you do War Mage, like, you instantly have so much DPS. But now, the Mage is too slow for Fighter now. Wizard! I, I, I honestly don't know anything about this class. I don't think they, they'll synergize well, but who knows. And that's it, everyone. Make sure to subscribe, watch my content, do stuff, and then I'll see you guys in the next one.